Uh, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some techniques, some aspects of self-defense. One of my all-time favorite jujitsu techniques uh, happens to be just a basic wrist lock. Wrist locks are really effective. Whether an individual is grabbing you by the wrist, whether they're grabbing you by the shirt, uh, whatever type of grab they're reaching out for, wrist locks are a really, really, really uh, good aspect of self-defense. Tonight I'm going to be using Matt as my Uki, and uh, we're just going to talk about a basic wrist lock. Now anytime, anytime you're dealing with a wrist lock, what you want to do is you want to take the wrist in, uh, in uh, basically two directions. I want to drive the wrist back towards Uki's shoulder. By driving it back, I'm putting pressure on his wrist, and then I'm going to be turning his wrist and putting his wrist in a position where it normally is not meant to go. So I'm putting pressure on the wrist and taking the wrist in a direction that it wasn't meant to go. So a basic wrist lock, what I want to do, I like to place my thumbs right in the middle of the palm and I like to put these fingers at the base of the wrist. And then I put pressure with these fingers at the base of the wrist and then I push with my thumbs and I put pressure on that wrist joint. And then I'm going to twist the wrist to the outside of his body and the wrist doesn't go in that, in that direction very easily at all. In this direction, there isn't so much pressure when you're doing a basic wrist lock. So, I want to get him in that position and then I'm going, to, I'm going to push towards his shoulder and I'm going to start turning the wrist. As I turn the wrist, I rotate my hips and I bring him down to the mat like this. And I still have the wrist. If I want to put him in a position, I could use the ground as a base and I can continue putting pressure on that wrist and submitting him in this fashion. I could even, I could even lift him up, keeping the pressure on the wrist, and I can put him in a gooseneck. You can do a number of different things from a basic wrist lock. But uh, as, as I get a hold of this wrist for some reason, I've gotten a hold of it, I'm able to put the pressure on that I need, I twist, I step back, and I take him to the mat with a, with a simple wrist lock. Now, he could grab me by the wrist. One of the easiest ways to do a wrist lock when someone grabs you at the wrist, I always tell my students, palm to the face. Look at your palm and get him in a situation where you can get at the wrist. Break the grip, maintaining control of the wrist, and then take him to the ground with that wrist lock from that position. So he grabs me by the wrist for some reason, palm to the face, I get a hold of the wrist, put pressure on the back of the hand, put pressure at the base of the wrist, and twist, and take him down with a simple wrist lock. Really a nice technique, uh, very, very excellent. He could even reach out and grab your collar. He could grab your shirt, something like that. All you have to do is trap the wrist on the shirt. Even if he doesn't let go of the shirt, you can still put pressure on the wrist, on the back of that hand, by stepping backward and twisting his wrist in this fashion. So as he grabs onto me, I can take him down. And once I put pressure on that wrist, when it's on my collar, he's going to break his grip as he goes to the ground. Simple wrist lock, really, really, really a nice technique. Thank you, Matt.